Okay, uh, as President Bonavent didn't even swear 45 ministers yesterday. Get some industries when they get minister here. For example, the Ministry of Youth. Now, when they named the first set of ministers, they gave Abu Bakr Momo the Minister of Youth. But I hear a challenge the process. They said, no, Abu Bakr Momo is an old man. There's no way an old man will head over the Ministry, the ministry of Youth because he might not really understand what we want. The man that had not loved my will be digital generation, amen. Give us somebody that is closer to us that can understand what we want. And then the president listened to the voice of Nigerians and we shuffled his portfolio. Moved Abu Bakar Momo to Ministry of Niger Delta Development. So that leaves the office of the Ministry for Youth vacant. I hear. Say, did like I say, President could tell the youth leaders for all the states? Say, may they come together, may they choose. Who will be minister for youth? My brother, that your Israel, the APC youth, lead, uh, uh, youth leader, national youth leader, was conversing, also the two, for him to be minister of youth. So as I'm talking to the head of the taxi state, the taxi state, the youth leaders have divided 30 of them and nominated the son of the president, Bola, uh, Sheikh Tinubu, to become the minister of youth. They sent it to presidential office. Say, this is who we agreed. All of them signed the letter. Let me show you the news. Ministerial slots, TS APC youths apart, as 30 leaders back Shehi Tinubu, according to the Vanguard newspaper. Youths under the auspices of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, have been divided over the race for the emergence of the Minister of Youth. While a faction of the APC youth leaders declared their support for Shehi Tinubu, son of President Bola Tinubu, for the position of Minister of Youth, Another block of the ruling party's youth snubbed this national youth leader, Dio Israel. In a later dated 21st of August, title clarion call for a purposeful minister of youth that is fit for the job. The youth leaders of the party from over 30 states snubbed Israel to back Shei. According to the youth leaders, Shei deserves to be Nigeria's minister of youth for painstakingly strengthening the youth, the youth wing of the party. Youth leaders said that she, during the elections, traveled at orders to numerous states across federation, canvassing the support of the, for the success of the Tinubu led administration. They also claimed that the nomination of Shei will be favorable because he understands the importance of a viable ministry of youth and will ease the agitation of the youth across the states of the federation. Youth leaders submitted their favorable candidate for the position days after Tinubu redeployed Abu Bakar Momo for the youth ministry to the Ministry of the Niger Delta Development. Recall that Momo was redeployed following outcry by Nigerians who pointed out that he is not a youth. So, when I wait, when I wait, I want to understand something. What is a PC they try to tell me now? Is that uh, upon all the Yoruba, you know what that is a shout? That your engine was there shouting, you know, you know, you know, you know, we have to do the right thing, you know, then we not lose the election. Oh, but not the you know, you are telling me. Say that your engine, no, see minister position. No, ah, no, it's not possible. We will protest this, so that your engine, I don't know. We will push. <laughs> when we tell that, I said, Tinubu go happen to everybody last last. So that is with a joke. My brother, my sister, if care is not okay. Now, so we're going to look at the answer. Shei Tinubu might actually become the next minister for youth in Nigeria. You know why? 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 So, wait. Papa will be president. Mama will be first lady. Senior daughter will be Yalonja. Senior son will be minister of youth. May they not change Nigeria name to Agbado Republic. <laughs> That why the public of Agbado, our coat of arms will be corn and the touch of Agbo, amen. Our national anthem will be heavy local, heavy local, heavy local, heavy local. You will not, you will be going to Agbo last class, everybody will collect, not this administration. You go touch everybody. Um, some people might want to argue in their affirmative and say, if he's qualified, why not let him do the job? But I tell you that if everybody runs on that same formula, there's hardly any government in this country who does not have family members that are qualified to become Minister of Finance in their state. If you are the president, because it's not a family business for Christ's sake. I will joke here. 
If you are the president, first and foremost, there is no office for first lady in this country. It's not constitutional. So that's why I don't create her, no wahala. But does it add up that your daughter is your lodger? And then your son wants to become the minister of youth because now all the youth leaders for the state, now all of them put their signature down for the later who make I will show that the later and the talk. So now I'm gonna go down, go to see what they talk. All of them put their signature down for the later, seriously affirming that she has worked hard enough for him to become the minister for youth. They don't say that all come out the former minister for youth, that all his own and go another department. So they are seriously standing by Shay Tinubu. What do you expect them to do? They will stand because that one will favor them. If you like to stand against Shayit in Wingo still win, you know that you want to win. In fact, that they tell them to even shoot somebody for formality's sake. If the president is ready to make Shayit in the minister of youth, there's nothing anybody wants to do. He has the constitutional power to do so. So he will better make the youth leaders. Make they not pitch their tent behind them. In fact, if I be down in Israel by now, I could not be behind Shayit in Wingo. Even down in Israel, I vote Shayit in the way they could no, I'll have more to watch. Nigeria is for all of us. It's going to be good whether the devil likes it or not. We'll keep pushing, doing our best to make this country a better place for all of us. We have no other home. This is the only country we have. When we see something that is wrong, we say something. We keep fighting for only things that are right to be done in this country and we will get there.